boy, oh boy, it's Smash Bros. speculation season all over again. Time flies, but over three and a half years ago, I put out some Smash Bros predictions for characters that I would like to see in the future of the game. It's actually pretty wild to see how many of them actually came true. Here were our 10 picks from that video. Out of those 10 picks, four of them are now characters in Smash, with a bonus plus one if you count the fact that there were two Belmonts selected. Another three either stayed or became assist trophies. And three more haven't been mentioned yet, but I even got my dream of a grappling Pokemon in the form of Incineroar a Pokemon that didn't even exist yet when I wrote my first Smash DLC video. I made a lot of these picks with educated guesses, many of them classic Nintendo characters that I felt would have a good shot to be in Smash. But for Smash Ultimate, the game has changed. What? Smash Bros, is this for real? We never saw it coming. I feel like with more characters coming from unexpected franchises and more characters coming completely out of left field, the possibilities for future Smash Bros. characters are endless. Characters from your wildest dreams just might be possible now as a future fighter in Smash. With this in mind, I've gone ahead and cooked up another top 10 list. Without repeating any fighters from my last video, here's 10 more fighters I'd love to see get that sweet Smash Bros. invitation envelope. Number 10. Scorpion. Ever since Ryu dropped in Smash, I've been wanting other fighting game specific characters to make their way into the fray. Mortal Kombat holds a special place in my heart. It's the first fighting game I ever played. Now, the gratuitous violence of Mortal Kombat does seem like it's a bit of a stretch for the family friendly Smash Bros, but that never stopped Bayonetta, so I'm gonna hold on to my dreams. My personal favorite Mortal Kombat character is Sub-Zero, but I honestly feel like Scorpion has a moveset that would work better in Smash. And Scorpion has basically evolved into the Mortal Kombat series mascot anyways. With fire, swords, and teleportation, I feel like Scorpion would be great amongst other fast-paced ninja-like characters such as Sheik and Greninja. Oh, and you already know what the tether grab is. Get over here! Number 9. Rex and Pyra. Xenoblade Chronicles has really developed a ton as a franchise since the Smash 4 days. Since then, we've gotten both Xenoblade Chronicles X and 2, slowly establishing the series as a big RPG property on Nintendo hardware. Sakurai mentioned that Smash began development too late to include a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 character, but I still feel like Rex and Friends are worth a look for DLC. The same way that Shulk brings a really unique gameplay element to Smash with his Monado enhancements, I think it would be really cool to see a Rex character that harnesses special properties and elements from Blades, especially the main Pyra and Mithra characters. There's a lot of potential here, with tons of different playable Blades, elements, and fighting styles. You can even have different swappable Blades similar to the three-part Pokémon trainer. No matter what they do with the character, Xenoblade is just anime enough where the end result would be great. Number 8. Jante. Like I said, today's list isn't who I think will get in, but who I want to get in. Jante's confirmation as a spirit in this game seems to hint that she won't be in Smash in any other form, but as long as there are sick indie characters out there that would fit the Smash mold well, I'm gonna keep rooting for them. Jante is a colorful and fun character to play as in her games, harnessing everything from fire to weapons to transformations. With her signature hair whip, I imagine her as a character that would be both silly and really fun to play as. And while I wouldn't call her a Nintendo character, I do think it's really cool that Shantae made her debut on the Game Boy Color all the way back in the early 2000s. Even if assist trophies and spirits are as far as Western indie characters can make it in Smash Bros, I'm still gonna keep believing. Number 7. Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot has for years been a face of the PlayStation, from yelling at Nintendo's headquarters all the way back in the 90s to bolstering a Sony E3 presentation just a few years ago. Today, modern remakes of those old games are now on Nintendo platforms, with the Insane trilogy on the Switch and the new Crash Team Racing remake on the way there as well. The same way that Sonic was such a hype inclusion back in 2008 as a former rival of Mario's, I think it would be great to see Crash bash his way into Smash. For a few years, Crash Bandicoot was the only real competitor to Super Mario 64 when it came to breaking new ground in the world of 3D platforming. With a mix of spins and explosives, Crash Bandicoot would be a ridiculous character. Between his historic rivalry with the plumber and his actual relevance today, I think this would be a great third-party addition to Ultimate. Number 6. Lara Croft. Here's another legacy character in gaming, also making her debut all the way back in 1996. 
Lara also gets to double dip as a character that is both iconic and relevant in gaming today, thanks to her 2013 reboot. It would be really fun to see costumes that reference the classic Tomb Raider as well as her new reboot, similar to how Cloud has the regular and Advent Children costume. While her classic pistols probably aren't great for a Smash-style game, we've seen the character pull off a variety of martial arts and melee moves that would fit perfectly, and her newfound love of the climbing axe would make for some really good Smash attacks. Her history with just about every style of long-range weapon could put her in a very similar spot to the already existing Snake. I think it's about time that Lara explores a new dangerous world. Number 5 Minecraft Steve, or Alex, or whatever you want to call the Minecraft dude. I know what you're thinking, and no, I am not memeing, not at all. To this day, Minecraft stands as one of the biggest phenomenons in gaming history. It's truly one of the most popular and recognized games of all time. And while yeah, titles like Fortnite do seem to be the new hotness for younger audiences these days, Minecraft is a game that I think has enough creativity and color to make a character right at home for Smash. Steve and Friends would remind me of the villager category, a pedestrian looking character that can pull all kinds of nonsense out of anywhere. On one hand, they could mimic your basic Link-like hero setup with swords and bows, but on the other hand, there's an endless list of move concepts, from TNT to the Ender Pearl to enchantments. For a game that's all about building and surviving, I think a Minecraft character would be perfect in Smash. Number 4 The Monster Hunter with Rathalos in the game as an assist trophy and boss, I'm honestly astounded that this character is not in the game already in some way. Monster Hunter is one of the definitive combat-based and multiplayer game franchises, and it's enormously popular in Japan. I don't care if it's a hunter, a named character, or a gosh dang palico cat. There are more than a dozen weapons in Monster Hunter that could make up a brilliant moveset. And on top of that, there's tons of unique pouch items that could work perfectly for special attacks. Heck, let them cook up some meat in a timing minigame, sort of like the Wii Fit Trainer down B. There's also the possibility of different armor sets as alternate colors, which would take a ton of extra dev time, but it would be so cool. You cannot let me hunt Rathalos without having a hunter to go along with it. It just feels wrong, and Smash Ultimate DLC can make it right. Number 3 Look at the Smash Ultimate box. It's a great box, but I feel like it's missing something. No, not that. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. We already have Bayonetta, but why not also give a slot to Hideki Kamiya's original Spectacle Fighter? Dante is the dream fighting game character, mixing so many ridiculous weapons together while still somehow looking cool in the process. Devil May Cry 5 looks like a great return to form for the character, giving him new fire weapons, rockets, and buzz saws that turn into a motorcycle. This character is just too ridiculous, too handsome, too edgy, and he needs to be in Smash right now. Number 2 Sora, the long wait is here. After a truly absurd amount of time, it looks like Kingdom Hearts 3 is the real thing. Even when I played a demo for Kingdom Hearts 3 at PAX, it just felt surreal. Like, is this really happening? Along with characters like Cloud, Sora was a part of my dream characters that will never be in Smash Pile while I was growing up. But now that Cloud is actually in the game, I really think we could see Square Enix sending another DLC character our way in the Smash universe. I highly doubt a Disney character would show their face in a game like Smash Bros with how complicated the rights are, but Sora on his own has a ton of fantastic moves that would translate well into the Smash universe. Basically, every game with Sora is all about unlocking your top combat potential with the Keyblade, unleashing devastating melee combos or firing off classic Final Fantasy-inspired magic spells. He has so many specifically named signature combos and a ton of unique fighting styles across his multiple appearances. He's got Nintendo history. He's popular in Japan. He has a relevant new game. He has a detailed and unique moveset. And Square Enix loves making DLC characters for fighting games. The door to Smash is here, and we just need someone to unlock it. Number one. There are so many great characters in video games, and with the new Smash DLC, I feel like even the wildest crossovers could happen. There is only one character that would make me more hype than anything else. I'm a pretty reserved guy, but this character would make me go full on 100% Etika. The second I hear that iconic theme, I'd lose my mind. Bah, banana, banana, bah, bah, bah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Could you imagine, Master 
he finish the fight? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I need to tell you guys why Master Chief should be in Smash, huh? I think he'd be pretty cool. <laughs>